Welcome to day 10 of Viva La Vegan 2013 and the power of 10. I'm Kyra and today I'm going to give you a little sample of the Mexican cooking school that my mom and I went to in San Jose del Cabo last month. Uh, it was just a one day lesson with Chef Enrique Silva at his restaurant and organic farm called Los Tamarindos and it was such a fun and beautiful experience. We had bounties of fresh organic vegetables straight off his farm and we made some really delicious food. Uh, we will post some pictures on the in the class forum in MaryLou.com so that you can see more pictures of what we did actually down in Mexico. Today we're going to make a gluten-free vegan lasagna it sounds like an oxymoron, but we are going to use lots of fresh vegetables. And instead of noodles, we will be using some squash and eggplant. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you have a sharp knife. And um, I'm going to cut the squash into very thin slices the long way. Okay, see this is making some beautiful thin slices. That'll be perfect for our lasagna. And just turn it around because I think it's a little easier to hold on to the straight side than to the curvy side. Oh boy, there's that one last slice. It's a victory. So I've cut the vegetables and not my fingers. All right, one more of these. We actually used some green zucchini when we were in Mexico, and uh, it's really just whatever you choose. This was what looked good today. All right, now I have the zucchini all sliced and or summer squash or yellow zucchini the same same thing um, then I have this very large eggplant I have cut the top off and now I'm going to cut this into thin slices as well um, Enrique actually had different colors of eggplant I'm not sure if we even used a purple eggplant there were um, white eggplants and yellow eggplants and they were straight off his organic farm and his farm is uh, USDA certified. This is probably enough, maybe more than enough because it's such a giant eggplant. We probably won't need to use all of this either. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we um, have this herbed oil that we made and this oil has fresh basil, mint, sage, and rosemary, also a little uh, fresh garlic and some salt and pepper. And I am going to scoop some of it into this bowl uh, because I'm going to be using it on the brush and I don't want to contaminate all of it with the things that are going on the brush. So the first thing I'm going to do is spread it out uh, on the pan. And I have the oven preheating pre to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so then I will spread out the veggies. And they should be in a single layer. lots of space in the oven and I will do a whole other pan of these but for now I'm going to show you what we're going to do next we will um, take more of the herbed oil and spread it out on top of the vegetables and once they're all covered they will go into the 350 degree oven and roast in there for about 30 minutes until they're tender and starting to brown. Um, at Los Tamarindos, Enrique has not only an indoor 
kitchen, but also an incredible outdoor kitchen. And he has this um, awesome wood-fired oven that's about seven feet deep. And he cooked a lot of things in there, including the vegetables, which added a nice um, extra smoky flavor since they've been cooked in the wood fire oven. Today we just have our standard electric oven, but uh, I'm sure they will still turn out delicious. Hey, this will go into the oven and we'll check back later. While our summer squash and eggplant are roasting in the oven, I'm going to get busy on some of the other ingredients for our veggie lasagna. I have three pounds of tomatoes, including some of these beautiful heirloom tomatoes, and I'm going to dice them up. And I also will uh, mince six cloves of garlic and get those going. Um, I'm going to be cooking them in the pan on the stove, so I'm going to use our uh, herbed oil to get started uh, in the pan to get that warmed up so that it's ready. And uh, once I get all the tomatoes chopped up, we'll be able to put the tomatoes and garlic in this pan and uh, get them going. Hey, these three pounds of tomatoes and six cloves of garlic with some of the herb oil have been bubbling away for about 10 minutes and we're almost to the end of our cooking time here. Smells delicious. We've stirred it and you can see that it's getting nice and soft and that's good because we're going to be turning this into a sauce by mashing them. Okay, the tomatoes are done cooking, and so I'm just going to take a potato masher and mash them up. And they mash really easily. You could use an immersion blender for this, but I would definitely wear an apron. It's pretty hot as well. On how, uh, it depends on how much, how many chunks you want in your sauce. Uh, it depends on so how much you mash it. I like to have the sauce a little bit chunky, although perhaps if kids were going to eat it, if they would eat something with so many vegetables, I might, uh, I might squish it a little more than this. Once I have it sufficiently mashed, I am going to add some salt and pepper to taste. And I'm also going to add some extra fresh basil. I'm going to stir this all together and let it cook down and thicken up for our vegetables have roasted for about 30 minutes, and so I'm going to pull those out of the oven and let them cool off a little bit. Um, I have removed the sauce from the stove. I just let it cook another five minutes after I added the basil, and now I'm going to add a little oil to my pan for um, to saute some beet greens which you could also use Swiss chard uh, or a green that you like. And I, they're still, we have removed all the tough stems. They're still a little bit uh, damp. And I'm going to put them in here. Be careful not to let your garlic over brown in here. I'm going to put, that's the water with the hot oil. Okay, I'm just going to put the beet greens in there. Let them cook down, Whew. quiet down and cook down just a minute. And um, that'll just take a couple minutes for those to wilt. They don't need to be super soft or super cooked down. And then we'll be able to start working on putting together our lasagna. Oh, one other thing that I didn't mention is we do have some tofu ricotta that we made using the immersion blender. And uh, that was a that was a different day's lesson, so we're not going to go into how to make that. And I think we've got everything just about ready and we're going to start putting together our lasagna. 
All right, I now have all of our ingredients ready. You'll see that I just wilted these a little bit. They will cook more in the oven with the lasagna. I've put a little bit of our herbed oil into this pan and coated it, and I'll get started on the ingredients. Uh, Chef Enrique had this beautiful little oval uh, pottery dish to cook, um, to put this in, and he, uh, he cooked it in the wood-fired oven. So. Uh, which was really amazing and lovely and obviously we don't have a wood fired oven and we have your standard rectangular baking dish but that's all right it will still cook it. I'm going to put a thin layer of the tomato sauce here on the bottom as well and then I'm going to add a layer of our oh, zucchini or yellow summer squash And I'm just using some little tongs. They're still kind of warm from the oven. If they're cool enough, you could just use your fingers as well. All right, I'm also going to add, after the zucchini, I'm going to add a layer of, and you could actually use more, you can use more vegetables. You can use whatever vegetables uh, you want that sound appealing to you in this. Uh, it doesn't have to be the yellow squash and eggplant. I think I'm going to do one layer of squash and a different layer of eggplant. Since that's about what I have here. All right, I am going to take a little bit of this um, ricotta style tofu that we made. And um, when uh, when Chef Enrique made this for us, his original recipe that's that's a veg that's not vegan does have some ricotta cheese in it. The one that we made with him on our, in our vegan cooking class did not have any kind of cheese and it was delicious. So you could actually leave this um, tofu ricotta out if you choose. And trust me, it was still fabulous. All right, this just adds one more little texture and flavor in there. And now I'm going to put in some of the beet greens and spread those out. We will be putting this in the oven, but I tell you what, I'm about ready to eat it just right now. It smells delicious. I wish you could smell this sauce. And the veggies for that matter, it all smells wonderful. I really wish I had Chef Enrique's little dish. I couldn't believe what he was putting his lasagna in. And of course, in America, we think of lasagna as something that is full of noodles and meat and cheese. And you will see that this has none of those, but the word lasagna just means layering. And this is clearly a layered dish. All right, now I'm going to put on a nice layer of our delicious sauce that we have made. Nice thick layer. You can use up about half of the sauce that we've made. Alright, and now we do one more layer of everything. So this time, instead of the zucchini, I'm going to do eggplant. And you could do two layers of both of them. I just, this happens to be how much I've cooked, so this is how I'm going to do it. And if you're not a big fan of eggplant, um, you know, when it's this thin, something about it, it just kind of adds some texture. The flavor, to me, the flavor is not overpowering on this, um, especially with the beautiful tomato sauce and the greens and everything else that's in it. So I try it with the eggplant, especially since it makes such a great uh, layer on this. And back to the tofu ricotta. And it does not spread out very easily, but it will melt out nicely in the oven. Uh, our oven is preheating to 350. It was actually already warm from the vegetables, so we will stick with that. And getting this all spread out here. Almost done here, ready to put it in the oven. 
It makes a delicious lunch or dinner, and when you're entertaining, I think this would really impress somebody. Anybody, even, you know, if you've got somebody who's a staunch meat eater and turns up their nose at all things vegetarian, then you might want to leave off the tofu ricotta and just make it a lovely vegetable dish. Um, I know my husband will not eat tofu, so if I was going to serve this to him, I'd leave that off. I think he'd eat the rest of it, though, and I think he'd really enjoy it. My kids, however, love tofu, and mm, the vegetables might be a harder sell, but oh, who cares? My mom and I can eat this whole thing by ourselves. Okay, maybe not the whole thing. <laughs> not in one sitting, anyway. Lunch and dinner. And my, dad's, my dad would eat this. He would love it. Alright, we're almost out of greens. It's amazing how these veggies cook down. This was a whole head of a head of beet greens, a whole bag of it. <laughs> Alright, and our very last thing is the rest of our beautiful tomato sauce. And I didn't really save enough of it. I should have saved even more. I just have enough for a thin layer on the top, but that's alright. I think Chef Enrique's bowl, uh, his, his dish was actually um, smaller than this because it was oval and it was just a little, a little smaller and I was surprised at how beautifully everything fit inside. Alright, I think that looks perfect and now we will be putting it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Alright, our beautiful and delicious veggie lasagna is all done and we are ready to enjoy it and I hope you'll give this recipe a try and if you ever make it to Cabo in Baja California, Mexico, I highly recommend that you look up Chef Enrique Silva and his organic farm and restaurant Los Tamarindos. Well, this is it, Kyra. 10 days of Viva La Vegan. It's a wrap. Thanks for your participation. We love you guys. Yeah, thanks so much. Now let's try this delicious food.